Hello, this is the administrator of the Sphinx Cat Fan Club on Facebook. I would like to thank the Lethargic Sloth for letting me use this platform as a way to get this video out to the club. The Sphinx Cat Fan Club began in 2006 with the following message, quote, This group is dedicated to the promotion and advancement of the wonderful Sphinx Cat, aka the Hairless Wonder. Remember Mr. Bigglesworth from Austin Powers? It's true, he was a Sphinx. So help us in spreading the word everywhere, because hairless cats rule." Unquote. The group was started as an open forum for those who love Sphinx cats to come together and share photos, unite people and cats through sales, promote cat products, and share stories amongst one another. Today, the group stands at 21,119 members and still growing every day. We are the largest Sphinx cat group on Facebook. As I personally am a libertarian, this group is run like that. I am pro free speech and don't really care who gets offended by what. To be offended is a personal choice. You can flip out and be offended or you can be mature, rational, and ignore something you disagree with. I want to bring up something before I get to the rules. This is something that really bothers me. Members will often post questions such as declawing or more specifically the ethics of declawing. Millions of veterinarians all around the world declaw cats. Do I like it? No. Are my cats declawed? No, they're not. But if somebody has the intelligence and boldness to bring up the issue, do not call them stupid or evil or horrible. They ask the question because they want to learn. They are opening themselves up to change. Maybe they will realize that declawing cats is not a good option when you give them a helpful answer or suggestion. You can suggest that they get scratching posts put around their house to keep the cats from scratching the furniture. You can say that you think it is cruel, but do not attack the original poster of the question. You going on a tirade about their question makes people hesitant to ask questions, and it also makes people hesitant to change. You're in the wrong. You're the idiot, not the original poster. Also, nobody cares about your vegan lifestyle and that if you are offended if people feed meat to their cats. Cats are not vegetarians. This is called basic biology. Both of those things I just talked about are issues from the past, so that is why I bring them up. Plus, it's comical. So let's talk about the rules, shall we? Selling is allowed in this group. You are more than welcome to list your cats for sale. I will ban people that report sellers. This group is for everybody who loves the Sphinx cat, and I will not deny those the chance to be united with their future cat. Also, selling cat products is allowed. If there's anything from toys to cat clothes to anything you want to sell that has to do with cats, please, you are more than welcome. I won't allow the sale of wild cats or other species other than Sphinx cats just because people on the group want to see sphinx cats and other animals, other species of animals, is irrelevant to the group itself. So uh, let's keep it to sphinx cats and cat products, please. There has not, will not, or will never be another administrator of this group. I am not here to police the group, and I will not ban people that offend you. The Sphinx Cat Fan Club is not a safe space. It is a place where differing ideas are welcome. This is a no snowflake space. As the administrator, I reserve the right to ban anybody that I see fit. The following are reasons I will choose to ban. Number one, reporting sellers. As I explained, I want people to be able to be united with their future cats. Number two, calling for more administrators. From time to time, I'll ban you just for my own amusement to say, see, I am watching. 
there are not going to be any more administrators of this group. If you want more, there are plenty of other groups you can go to. Number three, posting violence, gore, or pornography. It's uncalled for and nobody wants to see it. Get this straight though. If your cat has a medical condition that you want advice and support on, do not hesitate to post that. You will not be faulted for that. I want people to be able to get their cat's help. Number four, reporting somebody for being mean. You have two choices, respond to that person or ignore them. You are an adult if you are on this group, act like it. Don't tag me in a post because you are offended by something somebody says. I will probably just laugh at you for not being able to handle criticism. Oftentimes people write to me wanting to get somebody banned, but with just a tiny little bit of research I find the person wanting the other banned is the one who started the confrontation. I recuse myself from group infighting unless there are threats to another. Threats will not be tolerated, so please do report somebody if they are threatening another member in the group. Number five, flagging posts that I personally pin. Sometimes I will post and pin at the top. I have my own reasons for doing so. I don't make any money off the group, so occasionally I will promote videos for people I am close to. If you think you've been banned by accident, then you can write to me. I will reinstate you to the group so long as you understand that what you did and you will not be a repeat offender. I don't want to have to ban anybody. It's not fun. I don't like having to do it, but the aforementioned rules, those five rules, are not up for debate. That is the way this group is going to be run. I value all speech, even if it is something I disagree with. There are plenty of other groups run by dictatorships, and if that is what you want, feel free to join them. It will not be tolerated here. I am the judge, the jury, and the executioner. So what's going to change? Nothing, really. These are the rules I've been following to manage the group for the past 11 years. A video can help make the rules more clear. Anybody is welcome from all around the world. Follow the rules and everything's great. I welcome anybody and everybody who loves Sphinx Cats. Welcome to the Sphinx Cat Club, the largest Sphinx Cat group on Facebook. Please consider subscribing to The Lethargic Sloth if you love animals, travel, and music reviews. If you love Sphinx Cats and would like to join our giant family, please visit www.facebook.com slash groups slash 22047353538.